Beach Side, Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for tonight's main event. Ten rounds among heavyweights. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Bad Intentions is making his way to the ring right now, flanked by his quarterback, and just an overall feeling that they're not exactly hyped up for this one. He's coming to the ring with his entourage of quarterback, but they look calm and collected. Hard to believe that they're going to be firing off punches within moments. commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Doubles up the jab. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. Bad Intentions has done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. Return to sender, he gives him back one of his own. Well, he's committed to the left hand, and it's paying off here. See, he's got his guard up really well that time and protects his head. Bad attention. Left, landing well. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counterpunch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay. And he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. Good exchange. He fires back. Upstairs. Piercing jab. Little head hunting with the left. Red hot action to open up this fight. Both men throwing, both men landing. It's been a long time since I've seen something like this. I think it was in a film library. Watchman Hammer and Hank, the great Henry Armstrong, never took a step backwards, kept going forward. Good effective work with that straight right hand. End of this round, Joe and Teddy sitting ringside with you. It gives us time to reflect on the bigger picture of boxing. You know, it was interesting. We had a fan walk up to you earlier today and say, Yeah, I know you learned everything from the legendary Cus Tomato, the great trainer. And he said to you, What's the one thing you took away from all your years with Cus? What did you say to him? Well, it wasn't a paycheck. I don't know that much because Cus didn't believe in paying you for that. He said you're going to college, you're getting a valuable uh, education, and you're not even being forced to pay a tuition. So I understood that. We worked seven days a week, so there was no union. Uh, Cus believed in working on Sundays, so you couldn't go complain and say I'm being overworked. But I think, seriously, that the most important thing that I learned, of course, that from a technical standpoint, you have to be really secure in those areas. No matter how much talent you have, you have to teach them right, teach them the fundamentals. But mentally, you have to understand that a fight is really always under fear. And you have to understand those dimensions, those parameters. You have to be able to find a way to get in there, understanding how he feels mentally, and understanding how that can impair his judgment, stop him from doing simple physical things. Solid left hand to the head. Fires.
fires right back at us. Good job with another left hand. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. You see him holding on. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. You're doing great. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Good block there by bad intentions. by bad intentions. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Targeting that one, two. All right, listen. You need to create more punches, okay? Step this punch and throw a straight right down the middle. Okay. Jab and throw. Go to the body, then to the head. Then finish. Give 
one. Uppercut in return. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Bad Intentions. Missed the target with that one. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking... Oh, he is stuck. He could go down. They keep fighting. Just let's go.
this round, start to the second half of this fight. First half of this fight, he completely dominated the action, Teddy. Yeah, but you know what? It's kind of like they said in that movie, The Gambler. You know, they don't pay off at half times. Remember, remember the guy wanted to collect Absolutely. the stats? Well, same thing. He's got another half of the fight. Can he be consistent? Can he keep his concentration? Can he keep doing what he's been doing? There's the old one, two coming after him. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. What a chin. Can you believe the shots this guy's absorbing? But more importantly, can his opponent believe it? You know what? You want to hit a guy. So you figure that that's a good thing, that's an encouraging thing. This is a case where his opponent might get discouraged just by seeing this guy take those kind of shots. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. A little double jab to the head. That was a miss by bad intentions. Comes right back with a shot of his own. To the head he goes with a bad intentions. Has been stunned. Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.